guys, welcome back to my channel and to another vloggy vlog vlog. Firstly, welcome back. Secondly, huge love to everybody for all of their loveliness and kind words on my last vlog, which actually was like nearly two weeks ago by the time this will go live, which seems insane because I have been vlogging once a week, if not twice a week, for the past three to four years and after the final event vlog of the year which was Bicton three day which I'm thanking you for, for all the loveliness on I decided Banksy was having 10 days off and I was having a little bit of time off too which was much needed but also here he is the main man feels a little surreal it does feel strange not picking up my camera so I thought Although we haven't got a lot to talk about or share or do because we've been having some chill time, I thought it would be a fabulous opportunity to take the time. Oh, hello, Dinks. You best say hello too. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Hello, boys. Take this opportunity to answer one of my most frequently asked questions, which is why I started vlogging or how I got into vlogging. I know lots of people are interested in possibly starting themselves. Stop picking my pockets. Do not break that zip. I like this coat. It's snuggly and cosy and warm because it's proper gone like winter here in Cornwall this last week, hasn't it, little man? You've definitely got your winter coat on too, haven't you? Anyway, I digress, as per. Um, what was I saying? I am going to answer. <laughs> you two are so distracting. Yes, you are. Oh, you like the fluff. Do you like the fluff? <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I've missed riding you. I did ride him yesterday for the first time. We had 10 days off and I rode him yesterday. We went for a nice hack with Emily and Sprite. Um, I was going to ride again today, but I thought, no, we'll just chill and we'll ride again tomorrow. We're both basically just enjoying a little bit of end of season downtime, which, like I say, doesn't give me much to actually vlog or share with you guys, but it has <laughs> given me a chance to have a little bit of downtime ahead of what is going to be manic few months in the build up to Christmas. A few months, few weeks. It's already November. That's insane. Stop it. Is it because I'm snuggling dinks? Is it because I'm snuggling dinks that you want my attention? Hmm? Can't believe this second clip has grown back already. Hey, but say thank you to everybody for all their kind comments on the Victim vlog because you were absolutely insane. Everybody said how awesome you were. We all think you deserve better than a 34 dressage, but you know, it's fine. We move on from that, sort of. Um, so why I started vlogging. The reason I thought I would talk about this now is, like I said, wee, my hair just got caught in that bramble. Don't you even think about going in there. He's like, wanted me to show you how I jump, mum. Oh, there's Puss Puss. Steady, 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 steady. And also I feel I need to say that a couple of weeks ago when I did my going to the beach vlog and said I felt all anxious about starting vlogging and I've had a bit of downtime from vlogging because when I'm not doing anything it's hard to know what to talk about without talking too much and I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to get criticised for talking too much. But as I said previously, a vlog wouldn't be a vlog without talking. It would be a music video. Uh oh. Here we go. He's just gonna say, I have had time off, Mum. I don't trust you. No, I don't trust you when you're being like that. You don't need to follow me. No, you definitely don't need to follow me. I'm going to get out of the field. You, did you wind him up? Did you wind him up? Oh, just realised Banks hasn't got matching neck on his rug. Bad me. That's not like me at all. Right, I'm getting out of this field before he catches me, because as I said, him and time off don't go well. He doesn't actually like downtime. He likes to be kept busy at all times it's only me that likes the downtime right what was i saying i was talking too much probably let's go see the cats a minute let's give you a little cat update and then we will get on with why i started vlogging in just two seconds oh my goodness look at you two look at you you little cuties you put you down i was gonna sit there can i sit there and you sit on me maybe can i sit there are you purring? Oh, I'm sat on leather and it's squeaking, so it probably sounds like <laughs> not very good. Hey, Cece. So, OC is doing amazingly well. For those of you that haven't met OC before, OC stands for Other Cat. She turned up randomly as a stray almost 12 months ago now, then randomly had babies, and then sadly, 
lost a leg in an accident, didn't you, sweetie? But she's doing remarkably well. Oh, bless her. Do oh, dear. I was saying you were doing remarkably well. This is where she now wants to itch herself, and she loves it if I itch her for me. It's for me, for her. Don't you? Here. She's not with a camera on, Mum. You like it when I itch over here, because you obviously can't do that. And the weird thing is, when you do do that, you can feel when you've got two hands, you can feel that, look, 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 you can see she's trying to do it with her back leg. Bless her heart. And if you put your hand there, you can feel it wiggling. It feels a bit strange. Likes. She likes it when I do that. Don't you? Yeah, you do. Trouble is, like I said, my dear little stump starts itching away, trying to do it for herself. These cats love scratching their necks with their back legs, don't they? She loves a good scratch, don't you? Is that nice? Is that nice? It's hard for me to do it one-handed and keep you still. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah, see? Oh, a little leg going, trying to itch back. <laughs> I try to do this to her as much as possible because she loves it. I could do her doing it with that hand. Good I? Hey? You're a sweetheart. To think 12 months ago I couldn't get anywhere near you. Now you don't leave me alone, do you? And not to mention little man who is not very little anymore, are you? Are you going to sit on my lap whilst I tell this story about how I got into vlogging? Is that okay? Would you like to lie right there? How's that? Hear that bar. Hear that bar. So, when I started vlogging was... Mid? No. Early? No. I'm not starting this very well, am I? April 17, following on from being on a show called the Blue Chip All-Star Academy in March 17. To get selected to be on the show, you had to audition by video audition, which I did in February 17. Pretty sure I've already shared that in a previous vlog, so I will not embarrass myself by inserting that in here, but I will put the vlog linked below of the one that I've shared my audition in. I am 99.9% .9 sure I've shared that. I've definitely still got it on my phone, that's for sure. Um, and after being on the All-Star Academy, which was based at Talland, where eight of us had to do different challenges with our horses, insert a bit of B-roll here, Tina. Um, that was with Horse and Country TV. And then following on from being on that show, we each had to make a three minute video update once a month called the All Star Diaries and then Horse and Country TV would show that. I think it was on a Sunday evening once a month for four or five months. Welcome to our first official vlog for Horse and Country TV. We are on the road, hubby is driving, Banksy is in the trailer behind and we're on our way to Traborough Hill BE. Right. So we just arrived at Trevara and we're just about to walk the course. It's very, very... We had to then film ourselves and make our own mini vlogs, but they had to be less than three minutes long. Can you imagine? I mean, I suppose those of you that do say I talk too much probably would like them to still be less than three minutes long, but the majority of you, thankfully, have reassured me that you like my rambling and yeah enjoy the vlogs being longer which goes to show because my last event vlog was one of the best viewed vlogs of all time thankfully um and that was nearly an hour long so yeah i think it does go to show that lots of you like long ones and if you don't like all the talking and rambling and gassing and you do just like purely the horsey footage content then you can fast forward the blabby bits um it's not too hard to fast forward on youtube anyway <laughs> rambling as per little uh, reggie interlude i then after the all-star academy all-star All diaries show banks what are you doing he's licking the wooden fence are you lacking in something he says i'd quite like to come in actually mum it's just about to get dark yeah after being on the all-star academy i did the all-star diaries and then following on from that i just enjoyed yeah. smiling, happy. capturing the footage smiling. and having it to look back on as what i've always said is like a digital photo album so rather than looking back at pictures you've always got the video of your dressage test or a video of your cross country round or a video of your trip to the beach trip to the woods trip to olympia trip to hoys it's just lovely to have that to look back on in years to come and to reminisce and have all those memories stored in one place forever. 
So I would highly recommend getting into vlogging if it's something you are considering. Top tips for getting into vlogging is always talk to the camera as if you're talking to your mum or your best friend. That's what I used to always say to Em when at the beginning she was helping me with stuff like at badminton when I lost my voice and I was like, Em, help me vlog. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, I can't, I can't. It's bit cringe like retake I can't um I don't like the sound of my voice I'd be just like talk as if you're talking to your mum telling her about your day um so that's basically what I do and I guess that is why our vlogs I hope always come across as relatable because we're always just being us we're never gonna try and be something we're not um we just yap and yap like we're talking to a friend. basically I clash you guys and the community that we have built on both Instagram and YouTube and still Facebook every now and again, although I don't use that as often as I used to. As a friendship community, you guys are so supportive, encouraging, like rewarding, you share the highs and lows of everything and that is what I absolutely love about vlogging. What made me go to make this video today is, like I said, I've been taking a little bit of time out um, and I've had footage on my laptop for absolutely ages of Bictum from 2017 which I remember was one of my first vlogs for the All-Star Diaries but because it had to be less than three minutes long I never included all of the footage oh this is going to time out in a minute <laughs> yeah I never included all of the footage so I thought it would be good to put it in here because I know it is some of the oldest footage footage that I have got of Banksy and I doing a full test, a full show jumping round and the majority of our cross country and I thought it would be good to look back on because it was at exactly the same venue as our last event, Bicton. Again it was the B90 so four years later and I can't say that we have progressed that much however our confidence and our enjoyment in doing it has progressed a lot more especially so much more this year. 2018, 2017 was a really good year for us, 2018 sadly I had a really big confidence blip um i'm following on from that it's taken quite a while to rebuild however i'm feeling fabulous that we've ended the season on a high after victim three day it's so great to have such supportive and encouraging friends around me and um instructor and helpers and grooms <laughs> grooms that sounds wrong it's friends um and support crew is just incredible and brands the sponsors like them being so supportive massively makes a difference the support from rebecca and elizabeth at bicton where they came along and actually supported me in the flesh was just so 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 lovely oh triple word tina or was that quadruple or was that five times i'm not sure so 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 five mm. oh oh reggie's just found something to play with Anyway, I'm going to leave you with some of this unseen footage. I will do a little bit of voiceover over it. And then I will come back to you because I think anybody that is keen to get into vlogging, as I say, I would highly, highly recommend it. Then I will give you some tips of some items that you may well need to invest in. I, when I started vlogging purely for the first three years, if not longer, only filmed everything on my iPhone. I do now have the sony camera which myself meg em and lucy do all have let me film it and then i can insert this as b-roll here it is i've got a nice silicone case on mine to protect it um, and then one of these tripods which can be used with both the cameras and the phones are absolutely fantastic because they've got that like swivel head there which means you can put the camera at all different angles i said i was going to insert this after the footage i'm i will admit i'm not being the world's best vlogger at the minute my brain is struggling with it a little and i'm not sure why but that's partially why i'm making myself do this today because i know i need to i need to get over that silly stage fright thing of being conscious of maybe saying too much and that is me i can't change me I am who I am, I do talk too much and I think I just need to blank out the negatives and be sure that the people that do watch and enjoy watch and enjoy and the people that don't watch and, and, and don't enjoy maybe continue to stop watching because I unfortunately do focus a little bit on negativity. Um, I guess it comes along hand in hand with anxiety and 
lack of self-belief sometimes which I think people struggle sometimes to believe when you do vlog because you do have to have confidence to vlog especially in public I've just realized how it's getting quite dark in here actually so oh hello don't you dare pretend that that pours poorly again I don't want another 150 pound trip to the vets is it poorly or will you just play in with this oh is it poorly I hope it's not because you haven't limped on that for weeks hey eh? Anyways, where am I going with this? I don't even know, I just needed to vlog. I needed to enjoy it and talk to the camera again and just get back into doing it and stop worrying about what other people think or say or do. Um, like I said, December's a big month coming up. Vlogmas, Wah! Excited because I am working with some fantastic brands. I've got some amazing giveaways coming up to give back to you guys, which is one thing that I really do like doing. I like to be able to thank you for your support and thank you for always being there and always being so lovely, 99.9% .9 of you. Um, I'm going to insert this footage of Bicton here now because I think it's good to have the comparison from like four years ago. And yeah, I might have to just leave this as this. Again, I know it's a chill, talky, chatty, gassy one gassy yappy oh i don't even know the words but it is one that i needed to do because oh, oh, oh i was like what is that wobbly it's you what is that wobbly you come to join me look at him uh-oh uh-oh you come to join us too gentle oh my boys you've always got to be center of attention haven't you both of you look look hey Oh man, what was I saying about talking too much? I forgot that this camera stops after five minutes of recording because I'm recording in 4K. Oh dear. Right, anyway, I'll leave you with this footage. Um, I will put links in the description below to the items that I recommended if you want to get into vlogging. If you've got any other questions about getting into vlogging or why I started vlogging, etc, etc, then feel free to ask them below. Also, again, I've got lots of ideas, but if you've got any more ideas on anything that I, Banks, Dinks, the cats, Robbo, Mum, anybody can do to make Vlogmas more entertaining, then please do let me know in the comments section below. Thanks again for your support as always. I'm sorry this is such a rambly one. I'm not sorry actually, I've got to stop apologising. It is what it is, if you like it, you like it, if you don't, you don't. But at least you got to see his gorgeous fluffy face and we'll give him big kisses Mwah. for being such a super... Whoa, you wanted to give a kiss back. Kiss back. Mwah. 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 <laughs> for being such a superstar at Victim 3 Day. Oh yes, this is very tiring, very hard work. Right, over an hour, handing over to that footage. See you all very, very soon. Thanks for your support as always. Much love. Bye, bye. So here we go. Let's go back in time to July 2017. And that is the exact patch of field that we actually did our test on last week at Victon. Look. There's a warm up behind us. Steph is there searching no, for Emily. Also walking now to start the <laughs> um, and where I was, just in the background, is where we were doing our tests last week. As you can see, I was never very firm with him back then. I'm still not very firm with him now, but I am trying to be. Um, it was just a case of get the dressage over and done with, always. Try and stay sat in the saddle, try not to fall off, try not to leave the whiteboard, try not to get eliminated. Um, I, there was never any question back then, spurs or not spurs for dressage, it would always be not spurs. I was always anxious about not putting my leg on too much because I did not want him to explode. And as you can see with his bobby bobby up and down head position, I wasn't very good at keeping a very secure contact, which I would like to say has improved a little bit. Definitely not dramatically though. Um, however, our scores haven't improved. I think we got a 32 for this test. I mean, I need to focus on some positives. I guess we had a nice rhythm. Um, but yeah, very head bobby. And you can see I am just tapping him very gently with my legs, but I'm not actually asking much from him because he felt like a ticking time bomb that could explode and gallop off any second. So the aim of the game was always purely just to keep him as relaxed as possible and like I say just get it over and done with without getting eliminated <laughs> and you laugh or you might laugh if you haven't been here since the beginning 
our first ever one day event. Back in June 2015, we were eliminated in the dressage phase. I did fall off in the dressage and I would love to say that was a one-off, but we have also done that since. So I'm probably the only person ever to have been eliminated twice in eventing in the first phase, dressage. If you know anybody that has also been eliminated by falling off in the first phase dressage more than once, then please do comment below and reassure me that I'm not the only one because in my eyes, I am definitely the only one. <laughs> Anyways, we move on. His canter is looking a lot better actually here. I wish I had the test sheet to hand. Um, but I would definitely, oh, that was a rubbish downward transition. I would definitely say that my canter last week was better than that. And I'd like to think it would be four years later. However, clearly the judge didn't. I'm not bitter, I'm not bitter, I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm not bitter. I just, it does make me giggle how I had 32s back then and now 34s. <laughs> Although I also had 40 odds back then. My first two ever BEs, I think we had a 42 and a 41. And then I got away without getting scores like that in 18, 19 and 20. But then the start of 2021, who remembers Morton? Where, yes, we had a 40 odd score again because he was so wound up and the weather was atrocious and my numbers flapped out of my bib in the warm up. And yeah, I don't need to explain. I'm sure the majority of you will remember that vlog from the beginning of our eventing season 2021. Oh, there we go, up into canter. I'm not really sure why I'm leaving the whole of this test in, but like I say, why I started vlogging is so that I have all of these memories in one place to look back on in years to come. And I know that in 2017, this vlog was only three minutes long and the dressage test is more than three minutes long. So I definito did not include all of this, nor did I include all of my show jumping round, which is next to come. So I will stop talking now. And, oh no, we've nearly finished anyway. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, I'll stop talking and put some lovely music over the top, but we're just about to do our center line and halt. I think we did a nice halt. Yes, we did do a nice halt. Well done, Banksy Boo. So, how did it go? It was really good. It was good. He was calm, wasn't he? Yeah. Canters are all nice. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it was good. He felt nice, he was listening. Yeah, exactly. He was listening to you, he was doing everything you asked him to do. Yep, no silly bits. Can't ask more than that, no jackass moments. <laughs> okay, so this here is why I was unsure whether to show him the Wilbury Wonder Pony jump at Bicton last week too, because obviously he spooked at those zebras there, and in turn that led to a little bit of trouble for me later on in the course. Um, so I think I'm glad that I didn't show him Wilburys because he didn't get a chance to spook at them before having to try and jump them. Anyway, off we go. Nice. Oh, we've, we always like to put that little extra stride in, don't we? We always have done, always will do. It's always a nice flowing course at Bicton, though. Absolutely perfect surface to jump on. I need to put my bottom in the saddle, as both Emily and Cameron would tell me. He's just fighting me a bit there, saying, I'd like to go faster, Mum. And I'm like, no, we're not going faster. We're going at this speed. Thank you, Banksy. Whee. Pushed for that stride. Yay. Proud of myself there. It's insane to think this is over four years ago. Oh, he looks so handsome. This is all filmed on an old school video camcorder too, as well. And I love that the quality is still so good. One, two, three, four. Oh, did a funny change there. And then we had that pole down. We literally did a change before the fence. And then coming around here, I'd lost my stirrup somehow. I was faffing trying to get it back instead of riding and just using my leg, as you can see, no stirrup. And then, ooh. I don't want to go near that, Mum. That looks a bit spooky. Got stirrup back, kicked, got over it, knocked it down. In hindsight, should have circled and represented correctly. However, moving on to our favourite part. Oh, this is a bit wobbly. Okay. Nice, calm Banksy before the start box. Tina checks her girth. Yeah, we wouldn't have had that before the start box last week, that is for sure. There's Keith starting us. He is again, who started us last week as well. 
in we go. We get a bit of a spin around, bit of head shake, because he does know what's coming, but never before has he done the fly buck like he did at Pondersville. Oh, a bit more camera wobble. And a bit more head shake. And come on, Mum, can we just get on with it, please? Off we go. Whee! Handbrake off. Yay. And I love how when you're actually riding it, it feels so fast. But when you look back at it on video, it doesn't really look very speedy at all. <laughs> oh, lots of people spectating. Lovely sunny day. And we're off. Whee! There we speed up. Okay, this bit makes me kick myself even more for going so slow down the steps last week. Because look, we cantered nearly all the way to them last time, but it wasn't quite such a steep hill there. I'll give myself that. Look, only two or three strides of trot before dropping off over that combination and carried on cantering nicely down the steep part of the hill. Well done, Tina. Pat on the back. And this was a beefy fence for a 90. But he bucked it like it was nothing, bless his heart. Then we come up. I say I have lots of footage. I don't actually have lots of footage. <laughs> I have about four jumps. Uh, come round to this combination, which is a roll top. Do a ditch that you can't see. Oh no, the ditch was before the roll top that you couldn't see. Coming along here nicely. He was fit. I actually remember this day. He was feeling incredible. He's so cool to ride cross country. Blimmin' love him. I'm going to miss this feeling over the winter. Hee <laughs> hee. I think I was cross about the show jumping, hence I kicked on so much. <laughs> we had 12 faults in the show jumping, I don't think we've ever had that before. And then we come down and around to the water jump. Oh my goodness, I've got an incredible picture from this day here. I'll see if I can find it to insert. Flying through the water. Kicked on for the finish, but didn't need to because then ended up being a tiny bit too fast. Hmm. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun all the same. <laughs> and he finished strong, as you can see. I hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog, guys. I've literally just finished editing it, as you can see behind me here. And I thought, oh, I didn't really do an outro. So I'd sign in quickly and say hi and bye. And thank you very much for watching. If you have got this far, of course. <laughs> So please do like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, thank you again for all your support as always. Feeling so relaxed, refreshed and revitalised after a week off social media. Um, I'm about to go and film another vlog now actually. So yes, I'm back on it. Back feeling on top form and thoroughly enjoyed editing this one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you all very, very, very soon.